There you go. You just got some. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised for all the slackers, but nothing better to do than play games and surf the net all day. So we're going to get right back into the shit because our next game is Fighters Mega Mix, another game ported directly from the Sega Saturn and landing here on the Tiger Gamecom just for you. So Fighters Mega Mix, a game for the Sega Saturn that essentially combined Virtua Fighter and Fighting Vipers, along with including a whole bunch of guest characters. Unfortunately, those characters need to be unlocked in this version, so you won't see any of the crazy characters, but let's see what this game has to offer. Yeah, I'm sad to say that the Daytona car is a playable character in this game, but you have to unlock it. Boo! But you can play as Bon and Pi. Ah, oh, the classic Virtua Fighter theme. Hold on, let me listen. <laughs> Again, let us know if this audio is too loud or not. But I think you want to hear this. There was a two-player mode, Alex. You could link up to another Gamecom. Yes, you could actually even play online with the Gamecom. Damn. I mean, damn. <laughs> Let's play as Candy. All now right. you get all these different courses you can go through, and you can see the last one ends with the Daytona USA car. All right, I gotta turn it up. Okay, are you sure? That The chat is saying, too quiet, can't hear shit. Uh, yeah. Can't hear the audio. Okay, go ahead and bump it up a little bit. It's your funeral. Oh, Candy's clothes came off. Look what you did. Yeah, the big thing of this game, like in Fighting Vipers, was that you have armor that can be smashed off of you at any point. And as any Fighting Vipers fan can tell you, I'm sure Devil Ray is all in the chat right now being all like, Wow, this is arcade perfect. Amazing. <laughs> Wow, I somehow died there. Let's go ahead and give that another try. BBH is all like, wow, I can't believe they put all the arcade action on a single cartridge. Amazing. That's actually on the back of the box. All right, let's uh, see what Cass has to say about this. Okay. Uh, yes, this conversion in does, in fact, retain the Hornet from Daytona USA as an unlockable character. You can still play as Janet from Virtual Cop 2 with her gun as a special attack, which absolutely breaks this game in much the same way it does on other consoles. That's great. I'm glad they included Janet as well, because, yeah, the, uh, she's a Virtual Cop character, so she just brings a gun into the ring and can do incredible damage. But who needs that when you're candy and you just keep pushing a button? Ready. Go. Ready. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. <laughs> So it kind of looks like Fighting Vipers. You, it's got the floaty jumps, uh, it's got the armor breaking moves. I assume all of Candy's attacks are here, of course, because why wouldn't they be? Can you make the Hornet lose their shirt? I would hope so. Oh man! Get to see the undercarriage. Actually, way I'm going, we might see the Hornet pretty soon. Oh my god, Danny. Don't forget, we've got like... Oh, oh yeah. God, so many games. We have a lot of games, but a lot of them are like mini games, so we can just blast right through them. <clears throat> I'm hoping to really show off the, uh, the ports and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Bring this to Evo, you cowards. Oh, they don't even have the candy pantsu? What a, what a shame. She just died in midair, did you see that? <laughs> yes. I stood up in midair and then just flopped on the ground. I'm with everyone else. I want to see... I want to see Hornet's chassis, you know I think I mean? we're going to see that car in a second. Mm. Get ready for some hot and heavy action. Vava va vroom, if you know what I mean. Bring your motor oil. I'm disgusted with myself for saying that. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> All right, this is the fight before the Hornet. We're gonna get there in record time. Oh, I'm actually excited for Quizwiz because I had a, I had one of those, like not not the Gamecom version, but like the handheld version as a child, and yeah, I was all about that Quizwiz. Oh, I thought this had air combos. That would've been great. <laughs> no bad game Hall of Fame. You meant what you said. You meant to combine Hornet and Horny there. But yeah, we may not have picked the right route for uh, Hornet. Come on. Double KO! 
the fight the fighters Mega Mix Gamecom match went well. <laughs> I can't believe this shit. Oh, this is working. This is working great. Oh, that I saw it. I saw the the panty shine. Okay, rise. it does have that at least. Wait, round four? Round four? Where was? <laughs> Wait. Doesn't count. Kick his ass. Wait a minute. <laughs> Y'all, where'd the third round go? <laughs> oh shit! Don't beat me. Please don't beat me. People want to see the car. They're getting horny for the car. They're so excited for the goddamn car. <laughs> shit. Well, let's go to round five. I. Okay, no, we don't get a round five. Ready. That showed it showed one win mark under Akira's name up there. It, he only won one match. The rules don't <laughs> apply here on the Gamecom. Two people just said honk if you're horny at once, so here we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, we're we're in good company here. Everyone's slamming on the horn. The game dot Calvin Paul. <laughs> Thank you. Just making up the <laughs> rules here. Me. Oh he disappeared! Cool! <laughs> I punched him out of existence. Yo, this is a again. This is just a reminder. This is a Wednesday. Yeah. This uh, well. Whatever. You can do what you. Jesus! He nearly just. Nice ninety percent damage oh. combo there, Akira. Okay, now we got this. Let's do this. I'm gonna pound on that kick button. If you come close, you will get kicked. I told you. Revenant, if you make a Gamecom demo, I will, I will, I don't know, but it will be, it will be, I, I will fall, I, yes, do it. I, I can't yeah, think please. of a funny joke to say, so please. By all means. No. No, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you freaking, why won't you turn around? <laughs> okay, last try. We gotta kill this guy quick. Ready. Is there any homebrew on the, the Gamecom? Not that I know of. And you know, Revenant, I don't no. think so. Revenant, if you don't know how to, please don't make a demo for this if you don't want well, to. Well, there is an that. emulator with a full disassembler, so if you really want to do that, that's a thing you could do. I made him disappear again. Ready. Go. Ready. The reason why you're doing so poorly is that after you die, you don't get your armor back. I'm like Akira, who's like... Oh, that's right! Yeah! She's still missing her armor! What a bunch of crap! This is crap. Alright, this is the last round. If I lose here, we're gonna have to move on. I'm sure there's footage somewhere of the car in action. It's already been posted. Okay. Uh, yeah. I can't, I, I didn't click on it because I, d I want you to win, but yeah, I was posted in chat. I want to win too. Uh, I think it was Uzi who posted that, or whoever posted that, please put that in the Discord so I can see it. Thank you. Yeah, let's all enjoy the car. Alright, Akira has been disappeared. It's time to fight the car. It's been vanished. Oh, there he oh, is! Oh, there he is! What? No! No, wrong path, babe. Wow. Yeah, Uzi was this stream is a disaster. Honking. Well, go look up that footage if you want, and be sure to honk if you're horny. That's all I want. So next up, what can possibly follow up Fighters Mega Mix? How about Frogger? Welcome to Gamecom. This is one of the final releases coming out in 1999. Also one of two third-party games, as was mentioned before. Konami actually went all in on the Gamecom with one game. So maybe it wasn't all in. Ooh, you can flip the screen? Look at that! You can turn it upside down if you oh, want. Oh, that's cool. Why would you ever want to do that? Not a bad rendition of the Frogger theme, either. I want to see the updated version of Frogger. Hmm. Hey, this looks good! This I've... looks like Frog... I have seen worse. Oh, shit. Okay, now I want to see the classic mode. I have to kill off all the frogs. Alright, that was updated. I'm not used to that one. Mm -mm. But I'm going back to my, my old stomping grounds here all in right. the swamp. 
Alright, uh, Cass says, the other third party game developed, uh, the other third party developed game.com title, and another arcade conversion at that. Far more well produced than its sister Centipede, and quite possibly one of the best titles the Sorry Hardware has to offer. Congrats, Game.com, it only took an outside studio reproducing an 18 year old arcade game for your portable console to bring it one of its best pieces of software. Well, you know what? I, I can't argue with that. This plays pretty well. It's hard to mess this up, especially when you have an actual D-pad. And I assume the screen would make this unplayable due to blur, but... Man, you gotta take what you can get. This is no Fighter's Mega Mix, I'll say that much. So right at the end, it got a semi-playable version of Frogger, an was, ancient arcade game. I was gonna say, it looks normal and good. It does! You could play this. It's got a decent pace to it. There's no weird blurring or Duke saying, Derm. Hey, but that that may have been the emulator's fault, but... <laughs> yeah, I, don't I still care. like that. I think I prefer to any, like, sped-up version, honestly. The du yeah, the Duke voice sample would normally be much faster, but the simulator, it's a, it's a blessed thing. That's Frogger. Next up, I think we're getting to, through these as a good clip now. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? Why not let's try the Gamecom internet? Because that's a good idea. All right, Cass says, This separately sold cartridge, when further paired with a $50 modem peripheral and subscription to Tiger's Delphi ISP, ISP, allows you to surf the World Wide Web in wonderfully text-only fashion, as well as check your email. On the go, in some manner of speaking. This is assuming that you own the original model of Game.com as well, as a Pocket Pro hardware revision gave the axe to the system com port and rendered all this effectively impossible to use. Oh yeah, they did reissue it and got rid of the, the modem port, and also the thing doesn't work, so fuck it. Okay. Gonna hazard a guess here and say that all went pretty much unused from the get-go. Novelist hell, though. What do you say we play Henry instead? Yes. What's Henry? Well, according to Cass, it, uh, Henry, uh, they say... Based on one of Tiger's electronic toy lines, you're effectively given a picture sound matching puzzle utilizing the GameCom's touchscreen. As basic as basic can be, but a fine thesis statement on what the hardware at hand was probably best suited for. Henry. Henry. An actual Tiger thing that got a port to the GameCom. Hinky? Hinky! <laughs> Hinky. Yeah. Hinky. Hinky. Ooh, listen to that. Whoa, this music. Get funky. Oh, dear God, this is controlled with the touchscreen. Sure not just, is. Why not just kill me now? You want me to do it? No. Okay. Mm, okay. Actually, yeah, why don't you do this since you have an actual mouse? Okay. Uh, I think you need to press a button on your controller. Uh, yeah, tap something. Maybe the Henry button? Welcome to hell, everyone. <laughs> what the fuck is this? We're, we're in hell. You took us to hell. That's not the noise a compass makes. <laughs> compass International, how may I help you? <laughs> Strawberry. Okay. Okay, I think that was here. Yeah, it's do here. it. That's, that's the sound the Arc de Triomphe man makes. <laughs> Try her again. <laughs> yeah, that's a man noise, baby. That's the sound I make. And then the computer gets to play. Why does it... Okay. <laughs> okay, I like that. Why is he? You click on Duke and he goes, Damn. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, last last try, and then I'll. Yeah, that one. Okay, it's this one. Mm hmm. You got one, Henry. You win. <laughs> should I should we go on? Change no, games? no. Let's 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 move on. Okay. Good job, Alex. Thank you. You, you beat the it. game. That's Henry, a source for horrific digitized sound effects. If you want to scare small children, load up Henry for the Gamecom. Next up, Indy 500. Oh, good, a racing game. What do we have to say about Indy 500? Well, uh, Cass says, Vroom! May cause mild to severe motion sickness if you try to picture it with the level of ghosting the actual Gamecom screen provided. Cool. Cartridge. It's an official product of the Indianapolis 500. Ladies and gentlemen, start <laughs> your engines. We got car A, car B, car C. Are they any different? Well, Electric Boogaloo says that this... Uh... Automatic transmission. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. Yeah, that sounded pretty good. The race begins. Go! Here we go. Yeah, and this electric boogaloo oh, mentioned. God. This is apparently the only port this uh, arcade game ever got. Oh, it's based on the arcade game? Yes. That's a, that's a Sega game, right? Mm hmm. Oh my god. Well, what better system than this one? This sure is an interesting way to produce a racing game. We're here live at the Indianapolis 500, where... Oh. It's a disaster. Everyone forgot how to drive here at the Indy 500. Yeah, everyone's like, stop, stop crashing into the pace car. <laughs> It won't. He's hogging the road. Look, I can't get around this guy. Well, maybe he's a pace car and you're not supposed to. What's he there for? Where are my missiles? Don't shoot the pace car. <laughs> Alex, I think this kind of sucks. Oh, I finished. 33, huh? Well, at least I wasn't in 33rd place. <laughs> All right, here we go. Rolling start! Uh, excuse me. Rolling start! Indy, let's go away. <laughs> let's go away. What the fuck is going on? I can't pass anyone. The second I try to pass someone, I end up colliding into the, the rails. Oh. This might- oh, I passed someone! This could be the worst racing game I've ever played. This plays real badly. Maybe I should be using manual transmission. I think that's the problem. Mm -hmm. You're in fourth place. Oh, cool. Yeah, there are puddles of vomit on the track, which I think is pretty impressive. Yeah, why didn't they clean that up? Uh, you know, they didn't have any time. They sure don't care about the drivers. Wow. I don't like this. Uh, Indy 500. At least they didn't port Daytona USA. That would have been a hell of a thing to see. Next up is technically Jeopardy, but that's the one game this emulator does not support, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Gonna have to get a real Gamecom for that one. After However, that... we could play Lights Out. Oh, I hate this fucking game. Yeah, me too. I was gonna say, Cass says of Lights Out, the Gamecom's famous packing cartridge and another software conversion of a pre-existing physical toy line produced and sold by Tiger. One of those light puzzle games that sees you trying to activate every tile on the board while every move you make toggles your surrounding spaces as well. You've, you've played some variation on this before. It's fine as a pack-in in, any, in as any for the hardware at hand here. Okay, this might load, or it might not. That's right. Oh, it loads. Lights Out was a pack-in for this thing, and it does make good use of the touchscreen. I'll give it that. Um, this music? No, I'm, sh I'm putting in my other... Yeah. This is lounge core. 
Oh, I love this, Danny. So if you don't know what Lights Out is, it's uh, this. Let's select puzzle number one. Now, when you click one of these, one of these things, it changes all the ones that are around it, like that. See? Yeah, I had the uh, my pa my parents had the physical uh, version of this, and I played the shit out of it, and I hated it. But my my mom's wife loved it, so. Yeah, this is a very frustrating game. Seen often in Resident Evil and other survival horror puzzle games. I hate it. Yep, whenever you put one out, another one lights up, and before you know it, you've screwed yourself. Good. I didn't want you to work anyway. The game stopped working. <laughs> <laughs> you get the idea. It's <laughs> it's that game. That game no one likes. Oh, man. Chat was like, no, you, you missed the solution. No, no, Danny. And, yeah, <laughs> oh, you're it must have been to... torture watching me play that. Mm -hmm. Well, how about Monopoly? Ooh. How does that one work? Well, let's see. Cass says, pass and play Monopoly for up to six players. Good luck getting that party together. Functional enough by my estimation, but I'd be lying if I told you I played more than a minute of this to see if it worked or not. I'm sure someone out there was glad to have this on the go back in 1998. And bless their heart for it. All right, let's play some Monopoly. I prefer Monopoly Gamer Edition, personally. You know what sucks? You're not wrong. It actually is. That one is really fun. It I gave that to Alex for Christmas as a Christmas present. <laughs> Yeah, Gamer Monopoly has Mario and Yoshi and Donkey Kong. It's much better than regular Monopoly. Wow, look at him go. Oh man, he's so fast. He's dancing. I'm a human, player two's a computer. What's your name? Gonna go with what's simple. Oh, Greedy Granny. Greedy Granny! Connie Cashola, that's what they call me. Oh, they give you all the pieces? Including the thimble, which is being unfairly taken out of new versions because millennials don't consider it relatable or something. Fucking... Rest in peace, thimble. Wrong. Tons of millennials make fursuits. They all know what the fuck the thimble is. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I think I think that it's Monopoly who doesn't who's, understand things. Who's player two? Eggman? Oh, uh, G-Gran. Okay. Or Eggman. Whoever you want. Ugh. He's just he's just tossing me he all over the board. Stop moving, dude. Okay, it's got some good animations in here. Pretty detailed look at the board. I will buy Oriental Avenue. Sold to ass. Rats ass. Congrats. Wow. Are people talking about what they main in Monopoly? Dark Tessia mains the car. Yeah, I gotta be the dog. Oh man, there used to be fights over the dog when I was fucking when I would play as a kid. I never played as a dog. I was always a thimble because you could put it on your finger and it felt cool because it was like a little real thimble. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't pick the thimble, but I would uh, mess with it while I played. The, the iron is so disrespected. Thank you for loving the iron. Electric company. You bought the electric company. It's now owned by Greedy Grandma. Sounds about right. Hmm. Well, you know what? I think this is Monopoly. God, Honk. it's just blasting chat every few minutes. <laughs> Sorry, I farted right into the microphone. That was Ugh. very rude. Monopoly. Well, we've only got a handful of games left here. You're seeing now there's not much outside the big heavy hitters everyone talks about. A lot of these games aren't really worth mentioning. Here's one that is. Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Now, you, if you were looking at this system and thinking, damn, I sure want a Mortal Kombat game for this thing, well, you're in luck, Duke. Mortal Kombat Trilogy for N64, PlayStation 1, and GameCom. Let's see how it works. I haven't actually seen this one. I'm very curious to see what this looks like. Alright, Cass says, When your attempt at demaking Mortal Kombat includes ninja template characters but somehow manages to forget Sub-Zero and Scorpion of all the potential characters to include from that sub-roster, you're probably gone and made a few mistakes in your planning. Oh yeah, what the hell? It's got Rain, but not Scorpion or Sub-Zero? Mm-mm. 
surprisingly, fe surprisingly features fatalities, brutalities, friendships, and babalities for whatever all that's worth given this presentation. Still it lets you play as the bosses. Still better than the original Game Boy Mortal Kombat or Mortal Kombat 4 on the Game Boy Color, for that matter. It has Reptile and Rain, but not Scorpion or Sub-Zero. That's hilarious. And it has both the robots that replace the ninjas in MK3. Oh, that's... what a lineup. Yeah, this is a real crusty system. It totally is. I think they brought back Johnny Cage for MK Trilogy, but he's not in here. We just have Jade, Melina, Katana... Uh, let's play the centaur. Your destiny. destiny. Fight. Oh boy. Oh boy. I guess it was a little bit too much to expect music, huh? Uh, do you want me to put on like? No, Here. we're good. We're good. Are you sure I can imitate the? Uh... I can imitate the, sea, the the soundtrack. Hey, Johnny Cage is not afraid to die. <laughs> oh, mighty ninja warrior. Your heart's so cold. Sub-Zero. All right, there's a punch, a kick, and a block, believe it or not. And I think button four is a run. Right? No, it's it's a it's a different kick for some reason. One, one punch, two kicks, one block. That's what you get with the buttons. Now, normally, Motaro would be destroying everyone because he does a ridiculous amount of damage, but this is the game com. And we're just gonna have to do what works. Oh, this is so sad. I saw Nightwolf had uh, a special move. That'd be cool if I had one of those. You, you might. That was excellent. Let's see if I can win this. Now the question is, is this better than Fighters Mega Mix? I'm not sure if I'm prepared to answer that. I'd say they're about the same. They play very differently, but they're about the same quality. That's all I'm gonna say about that. At least this one does have the aggressor meter. That's something they added for MK Trilogy. Yeah, what the fuck is that? <laughs> One. <laughs> he didn't even fall down. <laughs> oh man, this is sad. This is so sad. Alex, should we move on? Yeah, let's move on. Mortal Kombat trilogy. That's so sad. So sad. Oof. 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 Oog. Oof. That's all I gotta say. Oh, I'm excited for what's next. Quiz Whiz, Cyber Trivia. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I love Quiz Whiz. It has an amazing box. Yeah, the box design is great because the front is just a face popping out of a TV and the back of the box shows the dude putting his face through the TV from behind. It's very, it's very high concept. Yeah, this one. Cyber Quiz Whiz, though. Yeah, Cyber Quiz Whiz. This guy looks like me and I fucking hate it. He kinda does. Yo, I'm a wise guy. Ready for the quiz quiz challenge? <laughs> I've only had seven beers! We could totally do this! Ah, uh, Cass Calls says about this game, a beautiful time capsule of 90s trivia, a bit in a pretty visually auditori auditorially unappealing package. This is the sort of thing that Tiger could have continued to repurpose and repackage with new sets of quiz questions and themes and maybe found a sort of niche audience for, but alas. Quiz Whiz actually did have different packs. It was a console, it was a handheld thing. And you can get different knowledge packs for it and stuff, if I recall. That's cool. It was actually really neat. I'm going to go for famous people. Uh, not film and TV? Oh, that, that might actually work better. I do remember 90s TV and film. Ooh, Let's do too. this. My answer is The Mask. Next question, my answer is Jim Carrey as the mask. <laughs> All right, Patty Duke won her, her award playing, what is it? Uh, I'm going to say Sullivan? Patsy Cline. What was it? Well, we'll see. Oh, you have to hit enter. Okay. And also it was Her Helen Keller. <laughs> Whatever happened to Baby Jane anyways? Uh, that would be... Ooh. Better hurry. Uh, John Crawford? 
No, it's a bad drink, Crawford. I'm an idiot. It was. No. Hairball. <laughs> what? He called you a hairball. It was. It was Betty Davis. I should have known that. Danny, what is this? Robert Duvall's film debut was as which character was... in To Kill a Mockingbird? Yes. Hey, Atticus. None of these are 90s, by the way. It's kind of pissing me off. Yeah. None of this is cyber. No way. No way. It was Boo Radley, dude. Ah. Oh, chat's yelling no at us. Fair enough. None of this is 90s. Hey, you kids. You up on your Paul Newman trivia? No brainer. Is that... Okay, now that, was... that meant it was wrong. <laughs> Oh, I know Unplugged, this one. God. Electrified. <laughs> Mellow. <laughs> it was supposed to be a three-hour tour, mm -hmm. as we remember from the nineties. We have a winner. Ooh, ooh, that would be Al. Al <laughs> Borland. Now you're speaking my language. Bingo! I even dress like him. I am called the fuck out. Sarah Gilbert's actress sister. Uh, Melissa Gilbert? I'm thinking Melissa Gilbert, too. Please be Melissa. Okay, that seems like... American All right, Bandstand. Get up on your Dick Clark trivia. Good answer! Thank you. Oh, who oh, knows this? You got you gotta be this. You gotta tell me this one. Um, 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 um. Hogwarts isn't real! Uh uh You blew it! He's gonna tell you you blew it. Oh god! We're being aerial striked! Great, we just got droned. Thanks, Alex. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All cause you didn't know a different world. I deserved it. We got five out of ten. <laughs> Well, that one has some pretty good animations and voice clips. I'll give it that. Um, as for the interface, not so great. Uh, so, in conclusion, one of the best GameCom games we've ever played. I do want to exit. Oh, exit back to the BIOS. Oh, okay. that rules. This, this is a hell of a thing. I'm not sure what I expected from the rest of this library, but I'm not finding it. we got to find something good. we got to find Scrabble. Ooh, uh, Cass actually has a nice lengthy write-up about this one. Uh, let's see. Cass says about Scrabble. <clears throat> let me sit up here. Uh, let me take a drink here. It's kind of long. Cass says, <clears throat> it's Scrabble. Let's play some Scrabble. Y'all like to scrab? I love scrabbing. I've been known to scrab on occasion. All right, a 1999 release, so one of the very last ones. I guess Hasbro bought Tiger, they tried one game, and then when that didn't work, they just shut the whole thing down. It's Scrabble. Scrabble. I'm a human. Alright, good luck. That's my name. Good name! Your name is worth four, eight, and... Thirteen! 13 yeah. point name. I got a high scoring name. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, let's do it. Oh, you're really making me use the touch screen and the D-pad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You want me to spell out a word? No word created. Uh, how about... I said, how about... How about... <laughs> I just want to spell the word up. Is that so hard? The simulator is from 1998. I just want to mention that. Again. Yeah, this may not be entirely accurate. I'm not having any luck with this. Uh, use your imagination. This is Scrabble. Wow, what a great Scrabble port. Amazing. Pretend we spelled out plum. Yeah, I should have spelled out uplog. <laughs> not much. What's up with you? <laughs> we're getting towards the end here. Uh, we're going to find some gold at the end of this rainbow, I'm sure. Oh shit, we could have spelled Glomp. Damn. Damn, we were so close. Okay, it looks like we have like five games left, so let's just blast on through them. All Next right. up, we got The Lost World, Jurassic Park. 
All right, Cass says, maybe the most ambitious title on the game, Com, as it shifts between frust frustrating behind-the-back driving sequences and also frustrating platforming similar to the 16-bit titles. I, for one, would love to know what the hell is going on with the rifle as seen in the side-scrolling perspective. No worries if you can't stomach making it to that point past the motorcycle. We probably okay, won't. so so it's a multi-genre kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That sounds great. Let's do this. The Lost World, starring Jeff Goldblum and, and a little girl who does acrobatics on dinosaurs. That was... That's uh, that's that one, right? Not yeah. the third one? Okay. Yeah, that was the one with the girl who, who did all the cool Gymnasti acrobatics. Gymnastics, gymnastics, that's what it is. yeah. <laughs> I'm in love. No. Seems pretty good so far. Okay, are we? Who plays Harding? Okay. Are we Harding or Timbo? The fuck is Timbo? Timbo's the badass elephant. Let's play as him. <laughs> Area one, Stegosaurus. Oh, we want a Humvee or a decked out Humvee? Oh. Or a Humvee snaggered. Look at this. Oh my god, you think Humvee paid money for this? Or I a hope motorcycle. They did. Yeah, look at this. Humvee Mark One. Mark two, Mark three, motorcycle. Oh no no, we're getting the yeah. Yeah, we gotta go. We're we gotta get loaded for bear or stegosaurus. Oh what the fuck! Hey, <laughs> hey! <laughs> guys, give me a chance. Where's everyone going? <laughs> Come back, guys. <laughs> What the fuck was that? What the hell did I just play? All right, let's be let's be the motorcycle. That's maybe we be better, may, yeah. maybe we need to outrun these things. All right, here we go. We're hauling ass now. Oh, we actually are outrunning them. Slugs. What's that sound supposed to be? Dinosaur? Yes, a stegosaurus. Arr, I'm a stegosaurus. Oh, hey, you got the platforming. Oh, dear God. What did I do to deserve this? Shit, get... Ah! Get out of there. Just shoot the damn thing. Take that. <laughs> it gets up? God. Ah! This definitely has, yeah, yeah, I'm with Uzi. This has the real LCD game feel. I like how you just lie down, like, uh-uh. Mm -hmm. He's just gonna take a nap. Well, I mean, it's like if you, it's like if you, it's like if you meet a bear, you're supposed to, like, just lie flat and dead. Okay, I know we have some Cuso Grande representatives watching this stream. Uh, let me just suggest this game for future entry in Cuso Grande. Yes, please. I think this would be, this would be pretty good, it being a multi-genre kind of thing. I think this would be uniquely frustrating and awful, therefore a good fit for the show. <laughs> Please consider it. Anyway, I'm out of ammunition, so the guy can't even shoot anymore. Oh my god! It does... There you go. You just got some. <laughs> that's, that's been my reaction to everything I've played tonight. Oh. Oh my god, who said he looks like Doonesbury? He does look like Doonesbury. He does. Trouble you are. Oh my god, that makes us even... Doonesbury goes dinosaur hunting. Oh, this rules. This is us. There are no shortage of dinos in this game. <laughs> Please put this in Crusoe. <laughs> yeah, if you can get this actually running. It's kind of a chore. Yeah, graphically, I think this game looks pretty fucking good for what it is. Yeah, it's, it's not really bad. Nice. It's nicely detailed. It's just... Oh man, once it gets in motion. I still don't know what that one sound effect is supposed to be. <laughs> I know what that one is, that's me. Why oh. do you play this? What a day! <laughs> oh, you gotta get the eggs! I see what it is. There's a radar in the lower left pointing you towards the eggs. And you have an egg counter. Ugh. That, we gotta play this game where it links up. Yeah, this yeah, is... I do want to return to this. That sample, whatever it is, it sounds like someone's trying to start up a lawnmower and it just won't go. Oh, you can climb! That's it, I've beaten the game. <laughs> really? No iframes? Thanks. Guy just tries to sit up and then just... Oh my god, what? 
This is huge cool. dino. This is cool, Danny. I'm gonna shoot him in the butt. This Give me those fun. eggs. I want those eggs. <laughs> that's that's the Lost World dress part. Uh, if I were to sum up my feelings on that game, it would be oh. Let's go to the Tiger Casino. All right, cast as of Tiger Casino. You know, we are here at Casino, and everyone says, Gosh, you're a casino. We should gamble. Let me tell you something, man. You don't want to play cards with me, because I'll cheat. Okay? I cheat. You want to play 21? I got 22. <laughs> you want to play blackjack? I got two of those. You want to play aces and eights? Baby, I've got too many of those. You do not gamble with me. Thank you for, uh... Thank you, uh, Jake the Snake Roberts, also yes. known as Cass from Bad Game Hall of Fame. <laughs> Wisdom passed down through the ages. Let's move on to... Let's do it. Casino. Welcome to the Tiger Casino for entertainment purposes only. Tiger Casino. <laughs> that was cool. Why is there a dinosaur? They just ripped that dinosaur from Jurassic Park. I love it. No, 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 no. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Look at the things coming out of the slot. Okay, machine. okay. No, no. We gotta do some slots. No, All right. no, no, no. Wow. Okay. They did, they did the Pac-Man, uh, thing, but with a dinosaur instead of Pac- oh. Gotta do T-Rex slots. Gosh, uh, what a choice. How could we ever possibly T-Rex slots? Spend all our money. Let's pull it. T-Rex needs a new pair of shoes. Great. Try it again. Come on, baby. T-Rex wants to make a lot of money. Take it back to the Jurassic period. Get it, get rich. Jackpot. Jackpot. Congrats. We did it. Let's leave. I'm gonna put it all on black. Okay. These animations actually pretty okay. Mm -hmm. Someone with a lot of time made these animations. All these, all these gambling things are like themed after animals that will kill you. Well, you know. Yeah. Okay. Where's the? Where's the? Where's the? Can I go to the? Oh, I see. You gotta. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, all in black. These controls, not great, believe it or not. Can you, why can you only do one? Oh, Sonny, I've come here with two dollars in my pocket, and I wish to place one dollar on black. Please, <laughs> please let Grandma win her big bet for the year. Let's go, baby. Spin that wheel, Vanna. Come on, baby. We're gonna get this. Yes! Hey! Lucky 13. Grandma got Grandma a wins. Grandma doubled her earnings. Yeah, go buy you one of them $1 buffet steaks that they have in Vegas, Grandma. You've earned it. Do they still have cheap buffets in Vegas, or do they get rid of those? They better. Why else would you go? Tiger Casino! <laughs> That's that's kind of weird. Yeah, that's I all I can it. say about that. Just a really odd way to adapt casino games. Let's try Wheel of Fortune. All right. Uh, Cass says, two separate releases based on the same design with two different sets of word banks. You can assume that had the game.com and these cards had been successful, they could have continued to release further revisions and iterations on this template. As it stands, pushing their luck with two releases of Wheel of Fortune was already pretty egregious. I don't know. Like Alex was saying uh, during the commercials we were showing, Wheel of Fortune, that one LCD game, pretty popular among adults. Hugely popular. Yeah, I, I actually do remember that being a thing. It was uh, it was the thing that your aunt plays. Mm -hmm. Cool ants play Wheel of Fortune. But is it also cool on Gamecom? Let's find out. Now, do they have Pat Sajak? Do they have Vanna White? That actually sounded pretty good. Yeah. This does not.
All right. I don't know if, what that says about me, but I've laughed more at this stream than most other streams we've done. <laughs> yeah, this is a very cursed stream. Oh, yeah. Oh that's, my God. that's me. Wow. How'd they, how'd they get all these pictures of me? <laughs> You're all these... That guy's from King of Fighters. Come on. They would never let a contestant on with a mohawk on Wheel of Fortune. The cast, the, the casting people would never do that. I'm going to be this guy. He looks like a software programmer. <laughs> I was going to say, he's a, he's a 90s Amiga dev. Let's spin that wheel. Love to have a controller in one hand and a keyboard in the other. Uh, uh, in. Oh. No ends. Not very impressed by the that, those wheel graphics there. You guessed a Y? What's wrong with you? I don't know, just sound felt appropriate. You doing some coke with Pat Sajak in the back? <laughs> I don't know if he does coke. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking of Tim Allen, never mind. Um S. There's one S. Hmm. I would like to buy an E. Spin. I believe in you, Danny. You know, this seems functional, but they didn't do much to make it very exciting, did they? Well, I mean, it is the Gamecom. Yeah, so we have high expectations. Oh, thank you. The crowd of the dead approves. Yes, it is uh, both touchscreen and uh, controller controlled. So... Oh, is it? Okay. Well, no, no, no. I, I don't know that. I was oh. just—I thought it was. Yeah, it is. Because yeah. yeah, it is. Uh, Danny, time to use a touchscreen, which means he's having to use a keyboard with a touchscreen section on it, and it is beautiful. Or poor Danny. <laughs> Everyone, give Danny a round of applause for being a real trooper with this. Extremely... Yeah, except make it really slow applause, like there is in this game. Okay, the the what of America? Oh Dreamers no, it, of America. It wouldn't be the because I bought an E. The fuck is this? I gotta know what this is. Yeah, sorry everyone, I'm invested now. Oh, okay. it let me buy an A, even though I already bought an A. I guess that's my own fault. Who said Q? Get Q? out of here! Really? Try I C. I think we have a replicant among us. I'll take a Q and a Y. He lost the turn. This guy's gonna guess a letter that doesn't exist. Lambda. Z. He guessed a Z. <laughs> this guy sucks. Y, Q, and Z. All right, try a C. Let's give me a C. The okay, it can't be the. Anyone got any guesses? I'd be happy to hear them. Well, I'll tell you what uh, Not Revenant says. 9-11 Truthers of America. That's pretty close. Two Breeders of America, Pig Brawlers of America. Um, two Brooders of America. Well, it's not two. <sighs> Sorry, everyone. I got invested. I have to see what this is what or I'll is never this? know. Writers of America. Nope. The guy just guessed a W. Brothers of America? Oh, Big Brothers of America. Oh. I'd like to solve the puzzle. Not Hot Brothers of America, BBH, although that's that's. <laughs> yep, great. the Hot Brothers of America. The B Brothers of America. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a photo finish, folks. I support you. I did it! You did it! I won the $5,000! I get to go on a date with Vanna White. Congratulations, everyone. Uh, is that why Dan... Is that why Vanna's texting me? <laughs> Look like, who I was playing against! Oh my god! That guy sucked! Wow! This is... That guy is one of those irony lords who went on Wheel of Fortune just to guess the most ridiculous letters. He went up there and was all like, Q, Z... Uh, I'm ruining the sanctity of America's favorite game show. <laughs> Wheel is America's game. How it dare is. 
Well, we beat him. We we took him out. And luckily, we only have one game left. We can finally put this shit show to bed. End our misery. Good lord. Gamecom. Well, well, there is a Wheel of Fortune 2, but I can only assume it's just like a... Uh, Same game, new new uh, puzzles. Yeah, it's like pass, a data so, pack. Yeah. So let's go with our last game. Uh, we got any Golden Age gamers out there? Because you're going to love this. This is Williams Arcade Classics. All right. Cass says, containing game.com takes on Defender 1 and 2, Joust, Roboton, Robotron, 2084, and Sinistar. This may be well be the best bang for your buck cartridge for your dying handheld. Naturally, none of these conversions are particularly great, but I suppose they err mostly towards serviceable. The voice clips in Sinistar paired with pitch with a pitch inaccurate sample playback in the simulator makes for a particularly amusing listen if you can manage to hold out long enough to hear them. Well, I know what I'm gonna do. Let's load up that kernel one last time. We it's gotta here. hear how Sinistar sounds on a Gamecom. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna come on screen and go, Durr. That's all I can think of now. Yep. Around this time, Williams was reissuing its arcade classics on the PS1. We're in hell. Can we play Sinistar? We've we've entered the hell arcade. This mm -hmm. is what arcades sound like in hell. Let's play Sinistar. Oh, look at that. Sinister, 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 sinister. Sinister. Sinister, 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 sinister! That is what the intro looked like in the arcade, I'll give it that. This is causing BBH physical pain right now, I can just tell. Alright, this game's really hard, but if you can survive long enough, eventually these enemy fighters build something called a Sinistar, which is an evil space face that tries to eat you. So let's just play it for a little bit. Original arcade version of this used a 53-way joystick. It controls just fine on Gamecom. <laughs> Perfect port. Okay, that's your Cinnabomb button. Mmm, Cinnabomb. I was gonna say <laughs> We're waiting. We will get to the hopefully the creepy Sinistar phase. Yeah, you gotta you gotta store up your Cinnabomb so you can so you can fight Sinistar. All right, he's halfway formed. We just gotta survive until he becomes real. Oh, what game? We gotta survive. You gotta survive. Survival horror now. Yeah. And that this console is horrible, and we need to survive. Yeah. I guess it's technically a handheld, but... Man, what if they made Resident Evil for this? Oh, wait, they did. Alright, run the tape back. It showed I gained an extra life when I died, and mm -hmm. it gave me a game over. No, we're doing this. We're doing this. We're doing yeah, this I, I gotta hear the Sinistar. Great soundscape so far. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, it just swarms you. And you move it like one pixel a second. Also, if you go into options, you can give yourself a billion lives. Okay, yeah, let's do that once I die. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Listen, I have to hear him just... This only barely looks like Sinistar. I need to hear Drunk Sinistar so much. Okay. Let's give ourselves a whole bunch of lives. Oh, you weren't kidding. That goes up to 15? 15 lives. Yes. Yeah, okay. Let's make this work. Oh my god. Why did you have to use the touchscreen for exit? <laughs> Why? It's like they knew some assholes would stream this 20 years later and just made it as much of a pain as possible. Yeah, this is genuinely a plot against all streamers. Yeah. I will be registering my complaints. Yeah, call up the BBB. They won't be happy to hear about this. Yeah, the BBB is, uh, the better 
Famers Bureau. <laughs> exactly, streamers rise up. Also, everybody's mentioning how difficulty was spelled wrong. Was it? <laughs> that was the vacuity. <laughs> they did not give a fuck. Can't say I blame them. Alright, I'm just gonna give you all some time to build up a Sinistar. Go on. Oh yeah, that Sinistar is gonna get made. Make my Sinistar. Alright, got a nice stock of Cinnabombs. Okay, what came first, Cinnabombs or Cinnabon? That's what I want to know. Did Midway know? That is a good question. Was Eugene Jarvis just addicted to delicious Cinnabon? Okay, this sucks, but I'm actually looking up the history of Cinnabon now. Cinnabon was founded in... Let's see here. Chad says uh, 1985, but I want to make sure. Well, they came out around the same time then. You think they used Sinistar as a mascot? I hope, I, I wish they did. 1985 at SeaTac Mall. Wow. In Washington. Great minds think alike. This is pretty clever for an advert game, gotta hand it to them. They're building up a delicious cinnamon roll. <laughs> exactly, 1985 was founded by a Cinnabon, a goth <laughs> lamb shop. Yeah. Great name, by the way. That's all I'm gonna think of now. Oh, there it is. Come on, build him up. Build me up, Buttercup. Build me a Cinnabon. <laughs> what? Well, it's talking. Let's go listen to it. Let's listen to the wisdom of the Cinnastar. Hey, Cinnastar. He's just boring you. Sorry, babe. It actually doesn't sound that bad. Yeah. Which is weirdly enough the biggest disappointment was that it wasn't that disappointing. I wanted to hear Duke Nukem being like, I'm gonna eat you. That's what Sinistar says. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking up Cinnabon. I hunger. I hunger. Uh, the Cinnabon article is so old, it still has a in popular culture section. Wow. They removed those from most of the Wikipedias, which, by the way, good, smart choice, but now it's like, hey, better call Saul. Uh, Saul works at Cinnabon. <laughs> I'm like, thanks. Well, that's Cinnastar. Let's play one more game off of this. And then, okay. Then <laughs> let's, let's never talk about this ever again. Unbelievable. Yeah, this is one of the more unique platforms we've covered on stream. And I'm glad we've covered it, because now we never have to play it again. But we should finish things off with maybe some Robotron? I think we're, I want to see how they do Robotron on Yeah. This. Dual joystick game should be just fine. It's true, Citricola. We do have some platformers to rank on it. Oh. I guess Jurassic Park counts as one. I know Sonic Jam does, for sure. Yeah, let's let's see old Robot Ron. Whoa! Wow. Slow down, Robotron, you're out of control. <laughs> let's try that again. Jesus Christ! Oh, oh no. Oh, really? Has it is it play good? Is it oh, play good, Danny? No. Oh no. Well, the four face buttons shoot your shooter up, down, left, or right. But look at that, they come out behind you, your shots, and... Hang on, I'm gonna try some science here. You can outrun your shots! Look at that, you can hell of outrun your shots! <laughs> uh, Freon Leon says, uh, this looks arcade perfect to me. Oh yeah. Uh, Scarface Smith calls it a Copytron, um... Someone asked if we actually uh, overclocked our game.com for this. Maybe. <laughs> what is it? Okay, everything else stops moving whenever you're moving. That, ma that makes it seem like it's really easy to game this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I gotta rescue this guy. There we go. Holy hell. That's all I can say about this. Holy hell. 
they really did it. They put Robotron on this thing. <laughs> Robotron tactics. Thanks, Rumble. But at what cost? Okay, I want to. I want to see what Joust looks like. I'm just curious. Excuse me? Can't even say. Oh, pardon me. Take that shit to the toilet. <laughs> yeah. Where'd I go? Oh. Fart. Hmm. Well, you know what? This is actually pretty bad. Not that good? No. It tries to keep the physics, but really that just makes it seem really sluggish and slow. At least you're not going warp speed like in Robotron. Oh, listen to that sound effect! Oh god! It's like you're rubbing a car across a chalkboard. <laughs> Well, we've played a lot of stuff on this stream, and my question to you, the folks out there, is this the worst system we've played? Are these the worst games we've played? Because honestly, I think you could make an argument for that. These are <laughs> these are very poorly converted games that are just amazingly terrible. FM Towns Party says this is my favorite harsh noise project. Yeah. <laughs> Digitized vomiting, this is the vomit sound. Is this that dinky groove that's been in the news lately? I don't even know what that is. Am I that out of touch with games? Don't worry about it. Okay, good. I don't even know what video games are anymore. Are they even real? Isn't it just like farting and screaming into the void? You know I joke, but this is actually pretty playable compared to the other games. It just has the worst soundscape of them all. Yes, we did show off the commercial for the Gamecom where the guy was like, You're a bunch of idiot assholes. I hate you. You should die. Buy the Gamecom or else. You, you or go loser. to hell. You clown loser. You horrible monster. Purchase these or else. It was the 90s. Oh, can you do the belly scoot? Uh, okay. Hang on. No, let's, I actually did this. hear about Dunky Groove. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, you can't do the belly scoot. I really didn't expect that. Usually you can scoot through that platform on the right if you come in through the left. You absolute clod! You, you worst human being who's ever existed! How dare you! Play our system or else! <laughs> Sorry, I... Uh... That was just in your face back then. They saw Sega was doing it and they thought, hey, all we gotta do is directly call people idiots instead of just implying it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kill off my last ostrich and then load up Defender, and then then we can call this quits. Okay. This has been one of the more interesting games, I gotta say. It's it's awful, but just the fact that it's based on existing games makes it a little bit less awful. Let's play Def Defender 2. Oof. That is a good sound effect. This doesn't look I mean, shot wise. <laughs> I exploded into dirt. Oh, can you kill all the humans in this one? Okay. This is how we're gonna finish the stream. I gotta kill all the humans. Yeah, Das Mia says this looks like a rad T183 game. I've actually seen a few people compare this to the <laughs> TI83. It really does look like it. More. More. More lives, then use the touchscreen to choose default. I mean, exit. That's a normal game thing to do. Now in this game you're supposed to protect the humans, but if you kill them all, uh, the game doesn't like that. What does it do? The world explodes. Cool. I want to see what that looks like here on the Gamecom. God, everything's just exploding into dirt. Someone call Mr. Clean. <laughs> I saw that bullet coming from a mile away, and I could do nothing about it. Must kill humans. Oh, there we go. The world blew up. Damn. Check it out, everyone. The world has exploded. Oh, God! And now there's swarms of enemies that come after you, and you can't do anything to stop it. I can think of no better analogy for the Gamecom. Uh, the, a game system that tried to destroy humanity, but luckily no one noticed. 
<laughs> That's the game calm. Oh boy, what did what did we learn tonight, Alex? Well, I think we learned quite a bit. Uh, the game calm exists. Yeah. Um, the people who play it are idiot assholes, so that's us. Yeah, the commercial said so. Mm -hmm. um, the games are maybe not so great, and uh, much like Tiger Electronics uh, LCD games, it's not super great, but it, if you had it, you were happy to have something. Yep, any port in a storm, as the kids say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess playing this would be better than playing no video games, so if this was all you had, that's what you had to deal with. That's kind of the case with those Tiger LCD games. Kids played those because they didn't have anything else. Like, you can't bring your Nintendo to school, but you can bring this shitty LCD thing. That's almost as good. But in the end, I think we're all better off with the Gamecom. The thing only lasted three years, had 21 games. We played almost all of them. Uh, what are our favorites, Alex? Well, I did like when Duke Nukem said, "Dang." Yeah, that was that was my favorite part. I liked uh, Fighters Mega Mix just for how the novelty of how weird that was. <laughs> but, but in the end, I think we're done here.